What fun it is to have two gentlemen from the Gateway Festival Orchestra of St. Louis. We're going to talk about summer of 2023. First of all, the guest conductor, Leon Burke, who's going to be conducting concert number one on July 9th. And then Darwin Aquino, who is the music director, and he's going to be doing the rest of the concerts. So, gentlemen, welcome. Thank you, Kathy. Thank We're you. We're so happy to be here. It's great to have you here. And the Gateway Festival Orchestra is going strong since 1964. You have a great big season next year. You're known as the Summer Orchestra Series. It started in the Washington U Quadrangle. This season, the concerts one and three are in the quad, and numbers two and four are in the 560 building. Let's start with Sunday, July 9th at 7.30 in the Brookings Quadrangle. The name of it is Music Under the Night Sky, and Leon Burke III is going to be the guest conductor. Leon, would you tell us about the concert? I'd be happy to. I was in high school when I was attending these concerts, and Dr. Schatzkammer was very generous about letting us sit in on rehearsals. So when I was extended the opportunity, thank you, Darwin, I was thinking, what shall I call it? And I remember it always as Music Under the Night Sky. So I put together a program that is called The Night Sky, the Beethoven Symphony No. 6, the Pastoral Symphony, really somehow got in my psyche because the last three movements are a party out under the open sky. Then all of a sudden the open skies open up and there's a storm. <laughs> and at the end, all of the villagers come out and say, oh, hallelujah, the storm spared us. We're still here. Let's party, which is, I think, what people would be doing out at the Gateway Festival Orchestra concert. And the other thing that struck me, American music that was about open space and open sky. And I landed on the Grand Canyon Suite by Ferde Grofet, because yeah. if you've ever been to the Grand Canyon, it's just so wide open. You know, you're struck by the marvels of the earth, but also by the openness of the sky. And I thought that was appropriate for this concert. When I was younger, I must tell you that I really was a science fiction nerd. I just must confess it. As a matter okay. of fact, I was doing a uh, piano recital at the St. Louis Institute of Music, and it got over late on a Friday. I had finished my piano recital dutifully as a young piano student, and I asked my parents, how long to home? They told me. How long to grandmother's house? And they told me. And I said, take me to grandmother's house. I cannot miss Star Trek. <laughs> so I'm adding under the skies, Star Trek through the years. I was older when Star Wars came out. And so I put in Star Wars through the years. And I think that's about as encompassing and outdoor as you can imagine. That's absolutely great. And that's going to be on Sunday, July 9th, 7.30 p.m. at the Brookings Quadrangle. Bring a lawn chair or a blanket. Also, if you'd like to, bring a picnic. You know, a nice picnic, a nice bottle of wine, bread, mm -hmm. cheese good company. It's wonderful. Everybody be sure to come to that. It's going to be such a nice concert and it's coming up quickly. Let me interject one thing. There will be concessions there. So we urge our patrons to take advantage of the wonderful concession years who have drinks for the kids, drinks for the adults, and I think a little bit of food there, but I've always brought my own food. That's a great idea, though, with the concessions. And I want to ask you one other quick question, Leon. What's the most rewarding thing about conducting the Gateway Festival Orchestra? It's an orchestra of the professional players here in town. The Gateway Festival Orchestra began as a way of employing St. Louis Symphony members that were not otherwise employed during the summers. And Dr. Schatzkammer did a good job in taking care of his friends, who were the symphony men, as he used to call them. In the subsequent years, it has evolved into not the symphony, because the symphony is full-time, pretty much. So now it's our professional musicians here in town 
that are not necessarily symphony players, but they are wonderful, wonderful players in all professional orchestra. And I really appreciate that because they attend to so much detail automatically. It's not at all like conducting a non-professional orchestra. And I love that orchestra. And I grew up with that orchestra. So it's a labor of love for me. Darwin, how comfortable is it for you to be able to be out of town and have Leon take over for that first concert? Well, it is always a pleasure to have Leon join in the orchestra. We can hear the passion and the love that he has for the organization. So we think it's a perfect match. And that's why whenever, for different reasons, I cannot conduct one of the concerts of the Gateway Festival Orchestra, he's always willing to come and to lead the orchestra with his amazing talents. Uh, this year, I will be at the Interlochen Center for the Arts. I've been conducting there for a couple of years. And we are so, so happy to have Leon for this first concert at the Quadrangle. Well, Leon, you are such a well-rounded musician, and so many people that you have worked with around town all love and appreciate you. And we appreciate your being with us these few minutes in this interview. Thank you so very much for all that you do for the Gateway Festival Orchestra. You are so very kind, and it is my pleasure and my honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.